So welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today we're taking a look at the latest squad update for the 27th of October. Now this is an interesting one because we're going to talk about the real faces that came in like the last squad update. Something has happened to them once again. But I'm also going to take a look at the players that got removed, added and updated as well with this update. I think there's a couple transfers in this update as well. So we'll take a look at everything. If you do enjoy, please leave a like for me. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more FIFA 21 news. So before we apply the latest squad update, let's take a look at the players that got removed. Now this is not the full list, this is just the highest potential players. First up we have Zaracho from Racing Club. This guy got removed now, he had a potential of 84. And then we've got Felix Correa from Juventus. This guy had a potential of 84 as well, he ended up getting removed. And then we've got Malachi Fagan Walcott. This guy plays for Spurs and he's got a potential of 83. And then we've got Ivan Martinez, this guy plays for Osasuna and he's got a potential of 81. We've got Diallo from West Ham, 17 years old, a left midfielder. This guy had a potential of 81. And then we've got Gigovic over here, and he's a CM, 18 years old, with a potential of 80. So those are just the highest potential players. But if you want to see the full list, go to sofifa.com. So now it's time to apply the latest squad update. Go to the Customize tab, go to Edit Teams, make sure you download the latest updates, and then hit Yes, and then you're good to go. So now it's time to take a look at the players that got added. Obviously, this will be the highlights, not the full list. We're just going to go over the players with the highest potential. So the first one is Zemanski. Now in this save, he's playing for Bayern Munich, but I don't think that's his club. I think he was a free agent. This guy has a potential of 83, and his value is 3.1 million. And then we've got Gedikli from Leverkusen. This guy has an overall of 60 and a potential of 82. And then we've got Jefferson Severino from Monterey. This guy's got an overall of 73 and a potential of 82. It looks all right in the physicals. And then we've got Caden Clark from New York Red Bull, 17 years old, a center attacking midfielder. This guy has an overall of 61, potential of 81. And then we've got Portanova from Juventus, 20 years old, a center mid. This guy's got an overall of 67 and a potential of 80. And then we've got Knaf from Borussia Dortmund. This guy's got an overall of 64 and a potential of 80. And then two players you might know, Hatton Ben Arfa returns now at Bordeaux. Still decent stats in terms of the technicals. Some physicals are all right. His overall is 75, potential 75. And then we've got Danny Welbeck, who's playing at Brighton and Hove Albion. This guy's a striker, 29 years old, and he's got an overall of 73 and a potential of 73. So those were some of the main highlights of the players that got added. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights coming out of the updated section. So first up, we've got Ansu Fati from Barcelona. He got some upgrades to finishing, agility, reaction, shot power, positioning, and composure. This guy's got a 76 overall and a 90 potential. Current value, 15.5 million. Next up, we've got Upa Meccano from Leipzig. This guy got upgrades to short passing, ball control, reactions, aggression, marking, sliding tackle, and his overall went up from 79 to 80. He's got a potential of 90. And then we've got a guy called Aura or something. I always say his name wrong. He comes from Lyon. His upgrades include crossing, short passing, dribbling, free kicks, ball control, acceleration, reaction, stamina, strength, and more. His overall went up to 82, and his potential stays at 89. And then we've got Eduardo Camavinga. This guy is 17 years old from Rene. This guy is one of the best career mode wonder kids, obviously, in the game at the moment. He's got a lot of upgrades to crossing, finishing, short passing, volleys, dribbling, long pass, ball control, acceleration. I believe his overall went up by two. It is now 78, and his potential went up to 89. Current value, 26 million. And then we've got Mikel Ayazabal from Real Sociedad. 23 years old. He got some upgrades to ball control, acceleration, agility, positioning, composure, and his potential went down from 90 to 89. His overall stays at 84. And next up is Nabri from Bayern Munich. This guy's a right midfielder, 25 years old. His overall went up by one. It is now 86, and his potential went up by one. It is now 88. But he also got some upgrades to finishing, short passing, dribbling, long pass, sprint speed, reactions, positioning, and much, much more. And then we've got Ryan Gravenberch from Ajax, 18 years old. And this guy's overall went up by two. It is now 73. Potential went up by one. It is now 88. But he also got some upgrades to crossing, finishing, acceleration, balance, shot power, stamina, strength, long shots, and more. Current value 6.5. And then we've got Florian Wirtz from Leverkusen, 17 years old at Cam. His upgrades include short passing, dribbling, ball control, acceleration, agility, reaction, stamina, positioning, vision. And his overall went up by two. It is now 70 overall. He keeps the 88 potential. Next up is Son from Spurs. He's a left midfielder, 28 years old. His finishing went up, dribbling, reactions, positioning. His overall went up to 88. Potential went up to 88 as well. His volleys went down. And then we've got Rayan Cherky from Lyon, 17 years old at Cam. His upgrades include dribbling, long passing, ball control, acceleration, shot power, and his overall went from 67 up to 68. His potential is 88. And then we've got Anthony from Ajax, right winger, 20 years old. His upgrades include finishing, strength, marking, and his overall went up from 78 to 79. 
his potential stays at 88. And then we've got Leon Goretzka from Bayern Munich, 25 years old, a center mid. His overall went up by one. It is now 85. Potential stays at 88. But some of the upgrades include heading accuracy, dribbling, long pass, sprint speed, stamina, long shots, interceptions, and more. And then we've got Presnel Kimpembe from PSG, 25-year-old center back. His upgrades include dribbling, strength, interceptions, vision, marking, standing, sliding tackle, Composure overall went up to 82. Potential goes up by 2. It is now 87. Not a good squad update for Memphis Depay. He got a few downgrades to acceleration, sprint speed, jumping, stamina. His overall decreased from 85 to 84. And his potential went from 88 down to 87. Next up, we have Mohamed Kadas or something. He plays for Ajax. And this guy's overall went up by 2. It is now 77. And his potential went up by 2. It is now 87. So he looks pretty good for a camp. His finishing went up, short pass, volleys, dribbling, long pass, ball control reactions, and much, much more there. So you might want to check this guy out, 21 million. And then we've got Levakovic from Dinamo Zagreb, 25 years old, a goalkeeper. His diving went up, reflexes, his overall went up to 81, and his potential went from 85 up to 86 now as well. Next up is my man Marlon from PSV. He is a striker, 21 years old. And the only thing that went up was his potential. It went from 85 up to 86 now. Next up is Calvert Lewin from Everton, 23 years old and a striker. His finishing, heading, ball control, sprint speed, jumping, aggression, composure all went up. His overall increased to 80 now, and his potential went from 85 up to 86 as well. Next up is Bruno Gui Marais, probably said his name wrong, from Lyon, 22 years old, a centre mid. The only thing that changed was his potential, went from 87 down to 86. He still keeps the 78 overall. Next up is Evan Nilsson from Porto. He's a striker, 21 years old. The only thing that changed for him was his potential, went from 87 down to 86. Next up is Kakare from Lyon, centre mid, 20 years old. Short passing went up, long passing, stamina, interceptions, marking, standing tackle, sliding tackle, all went up. His overall went up to 76, but his potential goes down to 86. And then we've got Marcel Sabitza from Leipzig. Short passing went up, long passing, stamina, interceptions, marking, overall increased to 84, and his potential went from 85 up to 86 now as well. Next up is Paul Lopez from Roma. He is a goalkeeper. The only thing that changed for him was his potential. It went down by two. It is now 86. It used to be 88. Next up is Mohamed Ihatarin from PSV, 18 years old at Cam. Potential downgrade for him as well. It went from 87 down to 86. And then we've got Cabral from Sporting, 22 years old, a left winger. Curve went down, sprint speed went down, agility went down, shot power, stamina, strength, and interceptions go up. Potential downgrade to 86. His overall stays at 77. Next up is Ben White, 23 years old, center back. Sprint speed went up and potential went from 84 up to 85. Next up is Curtis Jones from Liverpool. His overall went up by 2, it is now 66, and his potential went up by 1, it is now 85. He also got some upgrades to crossing, finishing, short passing, dribbling, curve, long passing, ball control, and more. Next up is Charles De Catalieri or something, I don't know. His overall went up to 72 now, and his potential went up by 3, it is now 85 potential for him. He got some upgrades to finishing, short passing, volleys, dribbling, ball control, some downgrades in between. But overall, he looks pretty good. Next up is Luis Maximiano from Sporting. He's a goalkeeper, 21 years old. All the stats stay the same except for his potential, which went down by 3, from 88 down to 85. And then we've got Baron Nexia from Real Sociedad. This guy's 18 years old. Stamina, composure, and potential went up. He's got an 85 potential now. Keeps the 73 overall. So obviously, that is not the full list. There's a lot of players that got updated here. But I just wanted to show you like the highest rated potential players. So I noticed that there was two transfers in this squad update. I don't know if there's any more. I just spotted these two while I was doing my research. And uh, these guys have decent potentials. They're both from Liverpool. The first one is Harvey Elliott, who has gone from Liverpool to Blackburn on a loan deal, I believe. This guy's got a potential of 85, current overall 65. And then we've got Harry Wilson, who went from Liverpool to Cardiff City now. This guy's got an overall of 77 and a potential of 83. So we've got a dilemma in FIFA at the moment. It looks like there's faces in the database that want to come out, but... They just can't come out at the moment. So on the 1st of October, players like Gomez here got a real face, but that was only on the database. You could not see this face visually in the game. On the 5th of October squad update, EA removed the face. And then on the 16th of October squad update, they said that the real face came back. And now in the latest squad update, these 40 players or something, 38 player faces, have gone from yes back to no now. So EA does not want to release these faces. And uh, at the moment, you'll see players like this now. I mean, not that they had their face already in the game, but in terms of the database, it went from yes to no for all these players again, like a Manolas, Allen, all the players that I spoke about before. So it's a little bit concerning. I don't know when these faces would come out. Maybe there's a November update that's going to bring these faces in. But at the moment, I really don't know what EA is doing anymore in terms of these faces. 
So that was the latest FIFA 21 squad update. If you did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like. And if you're new around here, make sure you are subscribed to get all the latest information regarding FIFA 21. If you need something else to watch, please make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you right there. I'll see you next time.